Neptune. Good evening. I'd like to open up the meeting for the council meeting. I'd like to call the meeting to order. Roll call. Councilwoman Chapman? Here. Councilman Clayton? Here. Councilman Kendall? Here. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Here. Mayor Moore? Here. Please rise for a silent prayer moment of reflection, please. <coughs> flag salute. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As to comply with the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in the following manner. The annual notice was forwarded to the Asbury Park Press, the Coast and the Star Ledger on January 6, 2016, and posted on a bulletin board the same date. All notices are on file with the City Clerk. Next on the agenda is the presentation by the Asbury Park Housing Authority. Okay. <laughs> well, I heard the door open. Do you want to go to the next one? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was actually trying to get someone from the police department. <laughs> they were supposed to know. And come on, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor, Council, thank you for taking us, letting us take up some of your time. We were actually expecting someone from the police department, whether it be the chief or his liaison here. We had met with them last week. We set the iPads up. We demonstrated them for them. We, they know that the, this presentation is going on. So without them being here, I guess Mr. Mayor or someone, your designee, would have to do the acceptance. And as a past commissioner of the Housing Authority, it seems appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Um, the Asbury Park Housing, first of all, I'm Mr. Greg Hobson, chairman of the Asbury Park Housing Authority. With me tonight, I have my co chair, Commissioner Frank Seifat, and Commissioner Donald Trotman. Over the past couple of months, we've been um, in conversation with the police department on how the Housing Authority could help the police department. Well, seeing as though the Housing Authority Housing Authority has over 100 cameras. We decided it would help if we bought iPads, tied the iPads to the camera system, which would give the police department the ability to see what's going on on Housing Authority properties hmm. in real time, not delayed time, not time they would spend coming back to headquarters. They can actually see what's going on as they're either going to the call or as they're riding down the street. Perfect example, if they get a call that there's a group of young men in a particular place, they can be watching the place, and let's say, for instance, uh, one drops a weapon by a garbage can. Well, if that camera's facing that garbage can, they, 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 they now see what that weapon is, which actually makes for a safe community for our police department also. And I'm sure everyone's aware of the amount of shootings that we have had. It has a block in the plate, it can be worse. So, this is just our way of saying, so on behalf of the Edwards Park Housing Authority, we have four iPads that we will, that we are donating. Services are already on, the data cards are already taken care of, all the information has been put in tune, and uh, your police department has all the codes they need to get into. So you would need us for nothing else, except for if you need to view our server over at the Housing Authority. So to that, Great, thank you. Hi. Hi. And as the commissioner we're here, Danny Gibson, whose uh, job title is Chief of Staff. Chief of Staff. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Lieutenant Cressy. Oh. Don't make me do this again, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to do this again. All right. Lieutenant, on behalf of the Ashley Park Housing Authority. Um, we've been in, in touch with your department for a couple months now, trying to figure out how we can make it better, how we can help. We came to the conclusion that iPads tied to our campus would help the unit a lot. So.
So on behalf of the Oregon Park Housing Authority, we're donating four cameras, full service. Everything's turned on. Therefore, you're in Thank you, sir. Thank you. And on behalf of the Asbury Park Police Department, we thank you for your gift and we hope we can assist you in our work. Anything else we can do for you? No, you guys. No, we're in conversation for the next steps. All right. Thank you, everybody. God bless. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> The iPads are a very nice gesture and very nice gift and very needed by Asbury Park, but what's more important is the excellent job that the Asbury Park Housing Authority is doing for the city of Asbury Park, and that has to be acknowledged. So, gentlemen and ladies and uh, Danny, thank you very much and continue <laughs> the good work, and uh, let's knock down the old one and build the new one. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Next on the agenda is matters from the city council. So I'd just like to wish everyone um, happy holidays and um, thank everyone for continuing to come out and support us and engage in the process of um, managing our city. Thank you. Happy holidays. Yes. Happy holidays. <laughs> Yeah, so I want to do a thank you to the police department and the bar owners downtown for the SantaCon event. Last year, I don't know if, um, well, I'm sure many of you heard about the SantaCon event, which was really a disaster downtown. Um, tons of drunk people um, using the downtown as their bathroom and, and really like a frat party. And so what we did this year is we met to try to make sure that didn't happen. and. We had more police out, we had specials out, we did a press release that we were not going to um, allow disruptive behavior. During the SantaCon event, we hand-delivered letters to all the individual bar owners downtown, explaining to them the importance of being good neighbors and that we would not be tolerating any bad behavior this year. We would be arresting early if, that's what, if, if that was how things went. Um, and I am happy to say that there were um, very few next to no incidents in the downtown for SantaCon. So thank you to the police department and the bar owners for working with the city to make that event a much better event than it was last year. That's it. That's it. Uh, just as everybody <laughs> else, uh, season's greetings, uh, happy holidays, everybody be safe and Merry Christmas to all. Thank you. Matters by the city manager. Thank you, Ms. Clark. Uh, one of the things that we've talked about over the last couple of weeks and months has been the storm plan um, for alternate side of the street of how to get, how to manage the cars. Um, directly from the plan, it states, after the duration of the storm, the public maintenance department, with the assistance of the police department, will issue a notice of alternate side of the street parking in order to clear streets curb to curb. The first day after the completion of the storm, will be no parking on the even number side of the street, followed on the second day by the odd number of the street. This will allow our department to clean the streets in a, in a timely manner. I wanna repeat that last part again. The first day after the completion of the storm will be no parking on the even number side of the street, followed on the second day by the odd number side of the street so that we can get curb to curb. Um, we're gonna start sending out some email blasts and some Nixle alerts and do some public outreach. I hear it, the, the echo. Um, so that people can be aware of this and obviously during and before snow events we're going to try to get it out as much as possible that this is how we're going to try to clean up hopefully we don't have 22 inches but that's the goal of after the event it'll be even then odd thank you that's all matters by the city attorney at this time, we'll have the uh, public participation. Can I have a motion to open a meeting to the public, please? Move it. Second. Second. Each person from the public will have three minutes to speak. And when you come up to the mic, please take your name and address for the record, please. Hi, good evening. My name is Danny McKee. I live at 508 7th Avenue. 
and I'm also the president of the Asbury Park Little League. And I wanted to say thank you very much to the city, to the city council, the rec department, for the uh, great donation of $2,500 that you gave to uh, our summer camp program. <coughs> the summer camp program is a wonderful opportunity. We send uh, as many kids as we can. Uh, it's been as many as 21 kids in the summertime. And uh, this donation is a tremendous help in our efforts to provide uh, this summer camp experience in Williamsport, Pennsylvania at the home of Little League Baseball. Uh, and I say thank you very much. Thank you for being a man of your word. I appreciate that very much. Um, and then I have two minutes left. I have a question. Uh, if it stops snowing at 10 o'clock in the morning, is that the first day? No, it's the day after. Next after day. Cleanup. Okay. So that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we thank you for all your hard work throughout the many years you've been doing it, Danny. Thank you. Have a great holiday season. Uh, Robert Wiener, 601 Madison. Uh, we were out of town, so I missed the Sackman presentation last night on his 18-story combo garage, urban farm, and cattle ranch. Uh, I may have gotten some of that a little bit wrong, uh, but I, I want to know how, do we know the exact dates that this, th that this uh, building will be in front of the planning board? Is it scheduled? Do we find it? How, how is an easy way to find it so we can, can participate um, in the program? And the second question is, does the planning board consider that he's going to have four major projects going on within two blocks of each other during this whole time? He has the Savoy. He has a, a condo being built on Bond <coughs> and uh, Bond and whatever. Um, and he has going to be renovating the uh, Barry Slot building in Press Plaza and this new project in the Savoy. So he's four projects going on. So does the planning board take that into account when they're dealing with him, or is it just specifically for the building? Um, and finally, this is a pet peeve of mine, I guess. <clears throat> there are currently 87 cars parked in that garage. Does the city help Sackman fill by changing the rules as far as who has to be in there? So are 87 cars going to be taken out of that lot for two years and put back on the street? So these are questions I know may come up at the planning board, but I'm really not sure how the planning board attacks each of these problems or they're just concerned with the building and what's going on with the building. Those are my questions. Go ahead. The planning board legally cannot consider multiple projects. It's project by project basis. Um, the cars is something that would be discussed as part of a redevelopers agreement if Carter comes before the City Council's redevelopment agreement and also before the Planning Board. Um, I've spoken with his attorney, Andy Karras, who gave the presentation on Monday and said that is a, a major concern of where are you going to put the surface lot now of, mm -hmm. that's of, of where you're going. And what was the first question? I'm sorry. <coughs> the first question was, are there, when do we know when, when he's appearing before the Planning Board so we could make sure that if we're concerned we can be represented there? It's not going to be for a while. The first thing he would need is a plan amendment, it looks like. So then that comes before city council. It gets referred back to the planning board. And then he starts the actual land development process. Mm -hmm. So there's no time frame. Um, he's been meeting with staff here for a couple months before he even got to that mm -hmm. point on Monday. It's okay. going to take a while. OK. Well, thank you. Thank you. Robert, it was a concept conceptual plan it wasn't we didn't we're not voting on it we didn't it, it was a conceptual oh, no plan. I, I'm aware of that uh, that it was conceptual but I just know, I to know how the planning board takes it because I was also concerned with four projects going on at the same time and if they're not concerned with that I, I will certainly be there and and ask them to be concerned with it. I, I know what he just said that they're only concerned with one building at a time but four four major projects within two blocks of each other scares me Yes, there's something here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's the Motion to close. Move it. Second. Second. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Jer Come on, Jerry. <laughs> you almost missed your choice, your chance there, Jerry. Hello, Mayor and Council, Jerry Scrano, 
Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody. Thank you. Um, on number 2016-475, the amendment to the development agreement. I just got a question because I've been following this for the last couple of years and I never really was sure whether Michael's development was really the, the best people for the project. But does anybody up there, could anybody answer, how much money of their own money are they going to put into the project and how much of the money is really all grant money and government money to subsidize this project? Because I know they're going to collect all the rent. So I just wondered, because I think it's a good idea so other people can copy this idea for themselves in other needy towns. I'm serious. If these people can pull off something like this, the public should know how to do it themselves, not just people that know how to do it. So does anybody, could you anybody explain how much money they're putting in out of their own company money and how much of it's grant money and government money for the rest of the project? Does anybody know? I, I don't know. I know what the agreement but Nobody knows. That, that's the good answer, John. That's really the good answer. You know nobody knows. And this is a good textbook for other people to follow. How do you get rich off the government without putting your own money into projects, pretending you're helping the poor? That's all I wanted to say. Thank you, John. You, no. you answered correctly. I don't know how much of their own money they're putting in, be it like where the money's coming from. I know the sales price is $640,000 that the city's going to be paid by the Michaels Group for the land to develop. Uh, no, okay. I, where that you. money's coming from? Nobody I, I, knows. That, I can't no, answer. That's good. Thank you very okay. much. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. And happy holidays to you, Jeff. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, Keith's Isle, 1118 Fifth Avenue. Um, I know I've, I've communicated with some of you in the past on, on you know, things that everybody feels are important. Um, and, and I know you're all busy. Um, I, I truly understand that. Um, but at the same time, I, I, I know that council members have private meetings with taxpayers and take time out. And, and as of late, um, there are several council members who have just been ignoring what I feel are very important issues and, and I just feel like it creates two classes of citizens and it's just not really appreciated. So if maybe we could look at that, I would appreciate it. Do you have any examples? Um, you could speak to the deputy mayor. Okay. I have a question. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be the end of the year without you, Rita. <laughs> <laughs> fashion. Merry Christmas. Same uh, to you. <laughs> uh, what Jerry was talking about, the Michaels Group, they were supposed to pay $250,000 for the property. 640000 Yeah, it was much more than dollars Did they pay it? Six forty. no. The, huh? it, it, the deal has not been closed on yet. Oh. So, no, we haven't gotten the money yet. Oh. So, why, why, don't, why are we talking about the deal then? Because they don't want to pay? It, no, it just hasn't been finalized yet. It's like when you buy a house, you haven't, we haven't gone to closing yet. Oh, but they don't have a deposit down? No. Nothing. That's my question. Okay. That's it? Yeah. For now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Motion to close. Second. Nope. Move on to minutes. We have two sets of minutes this evening. We have um, regular minutes of November 22nd, 2016, and executive session minutes of November 22nd, 2016. Can I have a motion to approve, please? Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. We're on to the consent agenda. First resolution 2016-458 is approval of special events applications. Resolution 2016-459 setting the reorganization meeting date for 2017. <coughs> Excuse me. 2016-460 resolution authorizing the payment of payroll in the amount of $993,224.92. Resolution 2016-461, Resolution of the City of Asbury Park County, Mercer, State of New Jersey, providing for an insertion of special items of revenue for 2016 budget. 
of the City of Asbury pursuant to NJSA 40A colon 4-87 a chapter 159 this is for the petroleum assessment resolution 2016-462 resolution of the city of asbury park county of monmouth state of new jersey authorizing a compensation payment to james freeman upon his separation of employment resolution 2016-463 award a contract for regional contribution agreement project and this is for 1003 sewell avenue Resolution 2016-464, accepting donation from the Asbury Park Housing Authority. And Resolution 2016-465, disposition of surplus property. I would like to uh, state, I should have said that, the uh, reorganization meeting for the City Council um, is being proposed to set for January 1st, 2017, 2 p.m. here at City Ch Council Chambers. Have a, anybody wish to, any of those consent agendas to be removed from the agenda? Have a motion to approve the consent agenda? Move it. Second. Second. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. On to individual resolutions. Resolution 2016-466, resolution authorizing the transfer of appropriation in fiscal year 2016 budget. Have a motion, please. Move it. Second. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-467, payment of bills. Councilmember Chapman will be abstaining from purchase order 16-01067. Can I have a motion to approve the payment of bills, please? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-468, resolution to approve Applying for involuntary disability reti retirement for Johnny Washington. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2016-469. Resolution to approve applying for involuntary disability retirement. Payout for Paul Johnson. Can I have a motion, please? Move, Move it. it. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-470. Award a software contract for GO30 for the code enforcement software. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016 471. Resolution authorizing the City of Asbury Park to enter into a joint purchasing agreement. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-472. Resolution to renew a contract with the state of New Jersey for the Bangs Avenue garage. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-473, authorizing T&M Associates to prepare a New Jersey grant application. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Resolution 2016-474. Resolution awarding a contract for U.S. Environmental Protection Agency Brownfields Community-Wide Hazardous Substance Assessment Grant 
and community-wide petroleum assessment grant services. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Any comments or questions? This is the corrected one. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2016-475, amendment to the developer's designation and redevelopers agreement for Michael's Development Company for parcels located with the Spring within the Springwood Avenue redevelopment area. Have a motion, please. Move it. Second. Comments or questions? <coughs> Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Councilmember Kendall. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2016-476, Resolution of the Mayor and Council of the City of Asbury Park authorizing the extension of the option agreement to enter into ground lease with Springwood Avenue Associates LP. Have a motion, please. Move it. Second. Question. Doesn't this language need to be corrected? Michael. Well, that's, it's based on the council's discussion during the executive session. The council would like to modify the existing language right now. There's a provision in there um, indicating that it's for a one-year period. Um, and you would like to revise that for maybe six months, as per your discussion earlier. And it was so just, yeah. tell me, just to make a motion to amend. To make the motion to amend it from one year to six months. Right. Have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. All Aye. opposed? On the, amendment. on the amendment. Now can I have a roll call for the resolution? Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. We're on to ordinances introduction. Ordinance 2016-53, an ordinance amending Chapter 13, Property Improvement, Neighborhood Preservation, Property Maintenance Code. <coughs> Move it. Second. There needs to be a couple changes. Um, Fred, do we need to do a motion to amend, or should well, I just? You can uh, review the, the revisions, and then when council introduces it, they can introduce it as amended. Uh, at the request of the mayor, and I'm, I'm hearing the static again. Section 302.1.9, which is removal of graffiti. Um, currently, it's 60 days. We'd like to change that to five days. Um, section 302.18 is height of intersections uh, for vegetation, which is 10 days. We would like to reduce that to 48 hours. And section, there's two more sections, 304.17, um, just to remove the vermin guard and just say that the windows must be secured. And then there'll be cleanup language for the historical section at, I have to read, pull up the section. It's section 102.6 that this pertains to all properties um, within the historic district and remove all the other language. That's all. So, so council is amenable to those revisions um, when you introduce it. Uh, someone can offer it the ordinance, ordinance number 2016-53, with the changes as discussed by Mr. Cotton. Well, we took a motion already to introduce, so we need a, a motion to amend. Then we need a motion to amend. Now. Move to amend. Yeah. To Second. incorporate the revisions that Michael Copy got, but just read into the record. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Okay. And roll call for for uh, all in favor for the amendments. Aye. Aye. All I'm opposed. I'm going to abstain. From the amendments. Abstain? Yeah, you can abstain if you'd like. I'd, I'd like to abstain. Four affirmative, zero against, one abstention. Two amendments. Okay. And now roll call f to introduce ordinance 2016-53. As amended. As amended. Council Member Chapman? Abstain. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. 
Motion passes. Public hearing is scheduled for December 28, 2016. On to easier ones. Now, okay. we can make um, just a quick question. We, If we have other small changes to that ordinance, we can make them prior to the 28th? Yes. Okay. I will get them. Oops get them to me as soon as possible so we can verify with the city attorney that they're not substantial. Okay. Okay. On to ordinance 2016-54, an ordinance amending and supplementing chapter 30, land development regulations, chapter 30-21, planning board, subsection 30-21.1, establishment and membership. I have a motion to introduce this ordinance, please. Move it. Second. Council Member Ch uh, Chapman? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Public hearing for this ordinance is scheduled for December 28, 2016. Ordinance 2016-55, amending and supplementing subsection 4-10.4, title fees of section 4-10, Permits for special events of Chapter 4, General Licensing of the Code of the City of Asbury Park. Can I have a motion to introduce <laughs> this ordinance, please? Move it. Second. Second. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? <coughs> yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Public hearing for this ordinance is scheduled for December 28, 2016. Ordinance 2016-56, an ordinance establishing salaries for certain employees within the city of Asbury Park, Monmouth County. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Public hearing for this ordinance is scheduled for December 28, 2016. Ordinance 2016-57, an ordinance establishing salaries to certain employees of the City of Asbury Park, Mama County, New Jersey. Can I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. On to second hearing, public hearing. First one is Ordinance 2016-47. Repealing Section 9-3 entitled Licensing of Cats Fees of Section 9 Animal Control of the Code of the City of Asbury Park. Can I have a motion to open this ordinance up to the public, please? Move it. Second. Second. Anybody like to be heard? Why don't you explain it? We're doing away with licensing of cats because we were losing money at it. We were licensing five cats a year for seven dollars and it costs us more than thirty five dollars so we're getting rid of something that's saving us money motion to close move it have a motion to adopt ordinance 2016 47 move it second council member chapman yes council member clayton yes council member kendall yes deputy mayor quinn yes mayor moore Yes. The next three ordinances, um, or four ordinances, I'm going to request uh, council to table as there was publication errors uh, with these, and they um, would be carrying to December uh, 28th meeting. So for ordinance 2016-49, can I have a motion to table ordinance amending and supplementing chapter four, general licensing section 4-9, Display of merchandise in public area, outdoor sidewalk, cafe, subsection 4.9-5, annual licensing fees of the Code of the City of Asbury Park. Motion to table. Second. Question? Go ahead. Can we carry this over to next year? Nope. You cannot. So if we table it? We table, we table it for 20th. December 28th. Okay. The the Why are they all being held over? because the publication didn't make it into Asbury Park Press due to billing errors. Okay. Council Member Chapman? Yes. Council Member Clayton? Yes. Council Member Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. Fred, do we have to do each one separately? No, you can, you can table them together. We can table them together? Okay, so then I'll do the next three together. We have <coughs> Ordinance 2000. 
16-50, an ordinance amending and supplementing section 4-1 business licensing by amending sex subsection 4-1.4 fees of section 4-1.9 standards of operation revocation of suspension of complaints of chapter 4 general uh, licensing of the code of asbury park new jersey ordinance 2016-51 and ordinance amending and supplementing section subsection 3-38.2 entitled penalties of section 3-38 use of bicycles of chapter 3 police regulations of the code of the city of asbury park new jersey and last is 2016-52 vacating and dedicating boston way can I have a motion to table those three ordinances please move it to table second Councilmember Chapman? Yes. Councilmember Clayton? Yes. Councilmember Kendall? Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn? Yes. Mayor Moore? Yes. All those ordinances will be rescheduled for the December 28, 2016 Council meeting. Unless there's any other business, can I have a motion to adjourn, please? Move it. Second. Okay. Everybody have a safe and happy holiday.